Hi! Do you have a two-month-old and you're getting ready to bring your baby to get his or her vaccines? And have you wondered, what vaccines is my baby getting? And what diseases are they protecting my baby from? Well, in this video, we are going to talk about the vaccines that your baby needs in the first six months of life. Hi, I am Dr. Christine Kiat. I'm a board-certified pediatrician. And in my channel, I give you weekly videos for any question that you might have on a certain topic in order to help you raise happy and healthy kids. Yay! Vaccines for the first six months. Vaccines work. They give you immunity to a certain disease. Vaccines are made by using killed or weakened versions of the viruses or bacteria causing the disease. It is safer to get the vaccine rather than getting the disease itself. So now, we are going to talk about vaccines that your baby needs for his or her first six months of life. Hepatitis B vaccine. So, it protects your baby from getting the hepatitis B disease. If the mom has hepatitis B, your baby gets an extra medicine known as the hepatitis B immunoglobulin, which helps your baby fight the disease. Um, the first dose of the hepatitis B vaccine is given shortly after birth, and then the second dose is given from 1 to 2 months, with the third dose given around 6 to 18 months. Hepatitis B vaccine protects your baby from getting the hepatitis B disease, causing fever, tiredness, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, dark urine, sore uh, muscles and joints. It protects uh, other people as well, and it prevents your baby from getting liver disease and cancer from hepatitis B. Um, it is safe. Most common side effects include fever and soreness of the arms. BCG vaccine is a vaccine for tuberculosis that is used for areas with high prevalence of tuberculosis, so in developing countries. BCG prevents uh, the development of childhood tuberculous meningitis as well as miliary disease. One dose is needed, which is given close to the time of birth. Um, tuberculosis is common in developing countries, and it mostly attacks the lungs, but can attack other parts of the body as well. Common symptoms of pulmonary tuberculosis include chronic cough, fever, night sweats, weight loss, weakness, and coughing up blood and mucus. So, an expected BCG reaction is that from the injection site, there would be redness and a small lump, and a couple of weeks later, this would be uh, developing into an ulcer, and then a couple of more weeks, it will develop into a scar. Now we go to the DTaP vaccine, which covers for diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis or whooping cough. There are three doses that are needed in the first six months, with the first dose given at two months, a second dose given at four months, and the third dose given at six months. After that, there are two to three booster shots needed. So, DTaP protects your baby against diphtheria. What is diphtheria? So usually it starts out with fever and sore throat that later develops into a thick coating at the back of the throat, which later leads to difficulty of swallowing and difficulty of breathing. Now how about tetanus? So symptoms of tetanus include um, muscle stiffness, jaw cramping, muscle spasms, as well as fever, and difficulty of swallowing. And then how about whooping cough or pertussis? Well, it is a serious uh, lung disease that causes violent coughing fits, difficulty of breathing, and the baby turning blue because of lack of oxygen, and vomiting as well. DTaP vaccine is safe with common side effects including fever and redness around the injection site. 
rare side effects include high fever, um, inconsolable crying, and seizures. And now, the Hib vaccine, which protects your baby against Haemophilus influenzae type B, which is a bacterial infection. There are four doses needed, with three doses given in the first six months. The first dose is given at two months, the second dose given at four months, and the third dose given at six months. There is a fourth dose which is given at around 12 to 15 months. It protects your baby against hip disease and most commonly uh, leads to meningitis with symptoms causing high fever, headache, confusion, seizures, and sensitivity to light. Uh, hip can also lead to throat swelling, skin infection, joint infection, bone infection, and pneumonia. The hip vaccine is safe with mild side effects uh, causing fever, uh, redness at the injection site as well as swelling, and um, some tenderness. The polio vaccine or IPV uh, protects your baby against polio or poliomyelitis. There are three doses in the first six months and a fourth dose. The first dose is given at two months, the second dose is given at four months, third dose given at 6 to 18 months, and a fourth dose given at around 4 to 6 years of age. So polio or poliomyelitis is a disabling uh, disease that can infect the spinal cord causing paralysis. Um, polio vaccine is safe with relatively mild side effects such as redness, swelling, and pain at the injection site. Now, the PCV13 or pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, uh, it protects your child against pneumococcal disease. So there are three doses that is needed in the first six months and then a fourth dose. So the first dose is given at two months, the second dose is given at four months, and a third dose given at six months. There is a last and fourth dose given at around 12 to 15 months. So pneumococcal disease can infect your baby's uh, ears, lungs, brain, and blood. So example like pneumococcal pneumonia can lead to fever, coughing, difficulty of breathing. And pneumococcal meningitis can cause symptoms of high fever, headache, confusion. And uh, pneumococcal disease can lead to middle ear infections and blood infection as well, known as bacteremia or sepsis, which can cause fever and chills. The PCV13 vaccine is safe with mild side effects, including pain and redness at the injection site, as well as uh, fever. The rotavirus vaccine protects your baby against the rotavirus. There are two or three doses depending on the brand. Rotatec, which is RV5, is given at three doses, two, four, and six months, or Rotarix, which is RV1, and is given at two doses, first dose at two months and second dose at four months. The rotavirus vaccine protects your baby against rotavirus, which can cause severe diarrhea, vomiting, and stomach pain. What is dangerous is that vomiting and diarrhea can lead to dehydration, which can be deadly. Rotavirus vaccine is safe with just having some mild side effects such as fuzziness, um, mild vomiting, and diarrhea. And the last vaccine, flu vaccine, which is given every year. The CDC or the Center for Disease Control recommend flu vaccine every year because the flu viruses change every year. Um, it can be given to children as early as six months and this vaccine protects your child against flu illnesses and hospitalizations among children and it has been found to be life-saving. Flu vaccine is safe with just mild side effects such as soreness at the injection site, fever, and headache. Alright, that's the end of our video. I hope you learned a lot and enjoyed watching. So I'll see you on the next video. Hi!
I hope you enjoyed the video. I am here to provide support and help you raise happy and healthy kids. If you have any questions or if you want to suggest a topic, just type in the comments below. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the bell button to keep posted. Alright?